Just this week, the LAPD reported violent crimes increased more than 14 percent last year. Domestic abuse cases contributed to this disturbing trend. Well, tonight, a man who once beat his wife opens up about his past and what it took to transform himself into someone who could help heal others. He abused my mother emotionally, mentally, and physically. I was a batterer. I was pathetic. And I told him, I said, if you touch my mother again, I'm going to kill you. For James Beard and his daughter, Maisha, it's been a long road. Maisha's father and mother married in 1980 when Maisha was eight years old. You say extreme batter. I have to ask you, what, what did you do to her? I would choke her till she passed out, put water on her face, wake her up and choke her some more. Beard abused drugs and alcohol, had two more children with Maisha's mother, and continued to batter her for the next five years. She was in too much fear. He was a monster. What changed? What made you stop? My father basically took her from me. It was Valentine's Day, 1985. I heard grandfather come in the house and he said, boy, I'm not going to let you kill this woman. He said, she's coming to live with us. After Beard's parents nursed his wife back to health, she left to rebuild her life without him. He worked on getting clean. I couldn't stand him, but you know, I love my dad. Good afternoon, gentlemen. All right. Now, nearly 30 years later, Beard, who never served time for his crimes, counsels domestic abuse offenders in jail. Gentlemen, I tell you this, and I tell you it plain. Here inside this bungalow at the L.A. County Jail's Pitches Detention Center in Castaic. If you hurt women, everything you touch is going to turn to crap. Beard coaches domestic violence prevention skills to hundreds of incarcerated domestic abuse offenders trying to get a grip on their rage. I'm going to teach you the physiology of your anger on what happens to you on a physical level so you can catch it before it's too late. He has worked with 20,000 domestic abuse offenders through the L.A. Sheriff's Merit Program since 1999. Domestic violence on its deepest level is about intimacy. Okay, so they're saying, I feel that way because I love you. Yes. And because I get jealous and yes. enraged enough to That's do right, bodily Pat. harm, it's because I love you. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So you have to unteach that. I have to unteach that. Before we can learn what love is, we have to know what it's not. Although Beard's ex-wife declined to be part of the story, he says they're friends, and their daughter says her mother has fully forgiven her father. Is she proud of him? Absolutely. But she just can't relive it in this moment. Maisha and her sister say their dad fully made amends with them and encourages them to share their family's dark story with others to further their healing process. Whose dad beats their wife and then turns it around, is clean for over 20 years, makes amends, and then dedicates his life to rehabilitating domestic violent offenders? Whose dad does that? Mine. I'm very proud of him. Oh man, why didn't we learn this earlier? When you have a breakthrough, does it make you emotional? Oh yeah, it, it really does, because I see me. I see a hundred me's as many men as I can get to and to help them um, transform, then that's my way of saying, that's, that's my way of coming to a point where I can say, well done. Love y'all, y'all can't do nothing about it. Now, CBS2 was introduced to James through Safe Passage. That's an organization that helps battered women turn their lives around. If you'd like information about that group or the program James teaches, just go to CBSLA.com.